All right, y'all know what it's time for. It's time for an episode of Break It Down with Brian H. Keeping it 100. I know it's been a long time since I've done this, but, you know, it's time to address something that's been happening. No, baby, that's for somebody else. We're just going to keep you right where you're at right now. It doesn't matter what you say. The Wrestling Realm presents Break It Down with Brian H. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of Break It Down with Brian H. I know who I am, Brian H. Waters. This show, of course, is brought to you by the Wrestling Realm. I'm sitting here. Uh, sorry, my bad. Got to get this uh, video situated. All right, so let's get right into it. No need. Y'all know what the ads are. Y'all know every Tuesday you can follow. You can catch Championship Culture with the guy, Brandon Guy. Every Wednesday, Wrestling Realm Now podcast. Now let's talk about it. CM Punk. Jack Perry, there's an issue here. All out, or I should say, all in. An incredible pay per view. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. But all out, brawl out, brawl out part two, all in, go in, whatever you're going to call it. There was an issue that happened this past sa- Sunday. Now, this, of course, is coming from apparently CM Punk. And apparently Tony Schiavone also told Jack Perry, hey, man, for the spot, don't use real glass. Use some gimmick glass. Why? To preserve the young man, to preserve his career, to preserve his opponent's career. Let's be real. That's what happens. That's what veterans do. They know better. They've been in the game long enough. Jack Perry apparently didn't like it. This is all reports, right? Obviously, we haven't heard from Jack Perry or we haven't heard from CM Punk. So, but what we did see was doing the zero hour show. Jack Perry did a suplex onto a vehicle through glass or on top of glass and looked in the camera and said, that's real glass. And he said, cry me a river. Now the reports are, and you can check the Mass Man show, uh, Kaz read something he got firsthand. Um, but the reports are that Punk was getting ready for his match. We're about 20 minutes from the show where they start, or maybe less than 20 minutes. He's in Gorilla, you know, for those who do not know, but y'all know if y'all watch the show, Gorilla is the position you stand at before you walk out to the ring. And that's when Jack Perry came up and Punk said, You got a problem? And Jack Perry said, Yeah, well, what you gonna do about it? And apparently somebody threw some punches. Punk, who Regardless, he get knocked out twice in the UFC. He had to train for it. Clearly, he was a fighter enough, but they put him on the card. Yeah, well, he had a name value, holds a lot, but still, they put him out there on the card. So I ain't going to say the guy can't fight. And he choked Jack Perry out, and that led to him. Apparently, there's reports that Punk and Jack Perry both will be suspended. Now, this Saturday is AEW All Out. All Out is taking place in Chicago, Illinois. Now, I know you can't just go around punching people, but let's be real. You got to sell tickets. You got to sell pay-per-views. You just got incredible momentum. And now, with, because people, all we do is we're attached to the internet. We look at to see what's happening. What better way than to make more sales than to let this match happen? Tell these guys, look, get it together. And then after you get it together, you know, put that aside. Do business because it's all about the dollars, right? Now, like I said, here's where I side. I'm going to side with CM Punk. You may be surprised. Um, What I see with CM Punk is he's trying to get these people to understand how to preserve their body. He's, I don't see nothing wrong. Maybe the approach was not the best, but I don't see nothing wrong with him trying to tell Jack Perry, look, it's not smart to use real glass. You can use sugar glass or what have you. So I don't get it. I don't understand. Like to me, you could make an argument about the whole thing last year, right? We're coming up on a year of that, right? You can say, all right, maybe Punk shouldn't have went out there and cut the promo. Maybe he should have took the higher road, right, with him and Adam Page. And then 
the back and forth. Maybe one person, maybe Punk shouldn't have said what he said at the press conference. You can make that argument. But right here, I got to side with CM Punk. I don't see where he could have went wrong by it seems as if he was trying to help Jack Perry. And with that, it seemed like Jack Perry wasn't, you know, just had a closed mind. Again, this is what's being reported. If Tony Schiavone, somebody else who's been in this business, yeah, he took some time off. He's been in this business. And he's trying to say, hey, don't use, you know, real glass. Then maybe, you know, maybe he should listen. But again, this goes to show you there's a bigger problem in all elite wrestling. Because why is it up to Jack Perry to decide what glass they are using? That's what I don't understand. Um, I feel like whoever is in charge should be the one deciding, okay, we're going to use regular glass or we're going to use gimmick glass, right? That's the way I look at it. I don't see why you would have Jack Perry or even any of the wrestlers deciding, where's the agent? Where's the producers in this? This is my question. Where's the agents? Where's the producers? Somebody let me know. Maybe, and maybe that's how it works. Maybe they decide, okay, we're going to use this glass versus that glass. I don't know. But there seems to be, there should have been somebody who's in charge for the sake and the protection of the wrestlers. Now, I know sometimes with something like thumbtacks and, you know, chairs, barbed wire, you can kind of sneak that stuff in and whatnot. But I would think with a car or something, you, you, you need more than one person to put the car there. So that's where I'm at. But, you know, overall, I just, I cannot, for in this purpose, like, go against CM Punk. Personally, I don't think he should be suspended. Now, I know you can't be fighting on the job. But, shoot, like I said, you got all this momentum. Man, look, squash it. Y'all take care of it in the ring. You know, clearly we're not going to get CM Punk versus Kenny Omega no time soon. And this is what Dave brought up on the Masked Man show earlier, which you can find on the Ringer Wrestling Show produced by yours truly but clearly you're not going to get that right you're not going to get cm punk and kenny omega or cm punk and the young bucks or even cm punk and adam page but you know maybe right here you can you know you might get cm punk and um jack perry i mean eddie kingston and sammy Guevara had an issue and then we saw on the tv show they squashed it apparently so Y'all let me know what y'all think. I was I was going to put this on Patreon. You can find more content like this on Patreon. But I said, you know what? Nah, we're going to put this right on YouTube. Uh, but that's the story right now as I record on uh, Monday, August 28th at 7.11 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, we know with wrestling, things can happen like this. I know there's a report that CM Punk had uh, apparently you know, ordered a car and then the, he had the phone number and the, the number bounced back and he traveled by himself and all that. I personally, I find that hard to believe. I can't believe that CM Punk is that much of a troublemaker and that nobody spoke to him. That just does not make any sense to me. I'm sorry. Like this guy is on the roster. He's being paid. He is the real world champion. Um, you know, it looked like it's going to be a recognized championship. Uh, so overall, I mean, you hear good things about like from FTR that he's trying to help. So I don't think he has that many enemies that nobody spoke to him. Like, come on, that 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 just doesn't make any sense at all. But in the sake of this whole issue with Jack Perry, I find it very interesting. But on this one, I'm signing with CM Punk because I think what he's doing is ultimately trying to, you know, teach the young guys and girls how to protect themselves and ultimately have a long career. Jack Perry's young, you know, so most of the time you see him everything, whether you wrestling, whether you producing, whether, you know, you're writing. When you're young, you try stuff. You don't know it all. Yeah, you can watch this stuff. You can do all that, but you don't know it all. So that's where I'm at with that. But ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for this episode of Break It Down with Brian H. Like I said, um, usually I put this stuff on uh patreon so make sure you subscribe to the patreon um where you can uh catch um you know a lot of cool stuff including wrestler figure wednesday uh, a couple articles the real Dwayne allen wrote so make sure y'all check that out but yeah you can catch me on there on patreon 
um, where you get Brian H. Waters' thoughts. I also write some things from time to time. So, till the next time, folks, I'm Brian H. Waters. I will see you Wednesday night.